So we had Boston Academy versus what is it? Uh, Houston, Houston Spartans. So Pro Loot Fire Spart, Dylan Rex versus Pendagram, Shawnee, Yeez, and Cami. Uh, I believe this is this, the first one for Cami in this new squad um, since being like dropped from from LAT. The grand finals of the NA Challenge Cup number two, brought to you by the rotation. We are here. We're in with Boston Breach Academy and Houston Spartans. You're hot off the press on a 3 0. Uh, so, good break off by Boston. They're actually like soaking this time. Uh, this is now, as grand finals have been for the last couple of years, a best of seven series. So, the team that wins four matches. So, they, they just get a break on in here because, like, they're just going to have reinforcements quicker off spawn than, than Boston can. And they only have one guy watching mid. And once he gets back down from these two guys, it's kind of like a freebie on point because, you know, number five had taken this route uh, through Fountain. He's going bottom cash. Number eight's watching top third. He gets a kill here, but he just can't help uh, middle just as, like, soon enough. So no one's able to help on time, and then they just pick off this guy top AC. They just single out everyone, pretty much. Boston plays so well all cup, but Houston caught fire on Sunday. Yeah, I want to see what this finals is. I wasn't able to catch the finals because, obviously, this is going on, like, Right, I guess, right after the Super Bowl or right when the Super Bowl was ending. Was that real PD? So early rotation to the P2. Dylan Rex is going to get this kill on Shawnee, most likely. I'd be surprised if this guy gets out with, or gets out with his life. And you see from old time, Boston spawns towards like the CT like truck area. And instead of wrapping towards diner, because they think that it's possible that, you know, Houston could already be on the rotation here and could already have a setup that they're just going to uh, push through towards the old, old time, get scrap and then push uh, through red. Hey, hey, Cortez, how's it going? Good morning. Good morning. Did Karachi break timings change on new patch? Feel like the March spawn is deeper. Um, I don't know what you're calling the March spawn. Oh, maybe like cat. We call this cash, this, this lower um, store area because there's an ATM. But eh, it depends. Like on P1, I don't think it really changed. But obviously for the other hills, there's new spawns and stuff. That Mavs game you got to watch live yesterday was super fun. They made a comeback for it to be down 10 the whole game. Dude, I know. Like everyone was assuming that they were just going to stomp the, the Wizards and then... It was like, I don't know, like eight or 10 minutes left in, in the last quarter and they just started going on a, a fucking run. P3, I think. Anyway. Old P3 side. Karachi, our point. Uh, this was a Boston masterclass the last time. Oh yeah, it is the same P3. Oh, is that what you mean? Okay. Oh, you're calling Mart P3. Okay. That's what it is. Good for them right now, however, Houston Spartans do have the rotation. Boston Masterclass. So they hit old, but like these guys are already set up on new time. They're still spawning useless, so they kind of have like a, a sandwich here. So anyone that's coming through fire is going to have to be met with people that are just coming, you know, off spawn right here. And they have one guy pinching deep. Cammy actually gets a kill. Let's see if he can get something else here. Unfortunately, the rest of his team gets singled out. They get traded. This is a really bad situation where you're holding time. And they're spawning the back here. So they have to make a decision what the fuck they want to do. Like to try and break back on this. Because there's still 45 seconds left. It's not like you're going to full on rotate. So like they try and hit back alley. Somehow a pentagram gets a kill jumping up. I have no idea. And that kills the guy off time. Which is which is pretty big. Uh, Prolude gets a trade. They're still not getting time though. So Prolude's just trying to kill spawners. Buy some time for like the rest of his team. Like coming off spawn. Alex with us as well. Oh no. Number six doesn't check the corner, unfortunately. They don't realize that Prolude is, is playing this. They know that he's like towards this back alley, but they didn't know he pushed up to this corner. And he gets a free two-piece for it. Alex with us as well. I'm surprised number six doesn't check it. I guess number six assumes that number eight's going to kill him. Because number six doesn't even look there. So, I don't know. So Prolude gets a two-piece. They start soaking time once again. So kind of back in the situation they were in like 10 seconds ago. Number four is going on an instant rotation to towards Coop. So what he's going to do is he's going to cut off this left side. So once the rest of his team is spawning, because they're going to spawn useless, they're going to be able to fill in the rest of the map. And here, let me get this. Let me get a, a pen for you guys so we can start drawing on the map. It'll make everything a little bit better, a little bit easier to, to digest. Where's my pen? 
All right, so yeah, he he's off spawn. He's gonna take instant rotation since he's the first off spawn. So like, the reason he's gonna be the one here is because he's 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 first off spawn. So it could have been him or number two, but you know he's gonna be the one to take the route, and he's gonna be the one to cut off towards left side. So he first cuts off mid. He sees nothing mid. And now he's gonna take the time to go left left side. It's it's thirty seconds left. So he's just trusting his teammates to get anything that they can on scrap time. They're gonna make sure that they hold P three rotation. <clears throat> so he's gonna go top third here and try and cut off. Throws a stun. Make sure anyone's like towards this uh, B Street side. He stuns someone. So now he knows like they're coming this way. They're on the rotation, and now he's gonna try and get some free picks. So he gets one top AC that cuts off a little bit of the reinforcements, um, and now like number two and number three are already on the rotation because they know that multiple people are here or could be here. And since, you know, they've already rotated, Dylan Rex is going to spawn down to them. Now they have three people in the back. So <clears throat> even though Dylan Rex died here, he got a kill and spawned back up right where he was going to go anyways. So him stunting their push, making them spawn out like the next guy that he kills, this got guy at top AC is going to spawn back up, you know, back CT, back truck over here. So what he's doing is, is creating a line of the defense where... He's getting a kill or dying regardless. He's getting the info that like where they're going to be coming from. And if he goes one for one, that's fine because he's going to spawn out closer to the hill than the other guys. So this is completely fine. Like super, a super good risk to take because this, you'll see where this guy spawns. He spawns right here, right in the back for P3. This other guy spawns super, super deep CT, literally in Narnia. <laughs> But Shawnee just runs up mid. No one's watching mid in this situation. Number two doesn't pick it up. Number three still watching towards this, you know, coop side because he needs to, since they know that people are coming coop side. And then it, it's kind of like a miscom here where number two and number four, you'll see this in the in the mini map. I wish I could go like kind of in slow mo. It's so like number two is gonna look for time, but like number four is kind of looking that way as well. You see that their hours are going the same way, and then he like double backs. And like if he didn't double back like that, it's a possibility that he has a timing to kill Shawnee here. But it kind of fucks up his timing, and then Shawnee gets a kill in the back. Number five sneaks around for, for free as well. He just gets really bad timing with number three, because number three is going to go like up the stairs to top third, while number five just sneaks in through the left here. It's so like number two picks up mid a little bit late. Number uh, three picks up top third but isn't able to see the coop coop side and they're just like two guys in the back just for free like magic they just fucking appear on this guy's screen so if i'm fire i'm like where the hell did they just come from so fire gets the trade on shawnee because they know uh, information wise that he's there but they still don't know number five's in the back until number three sees him right now so number three sees him but number seven is on you know just a pinch from old so this should just be an easy break Three on one, easy break. Just kill last guy or not. And then they, they just give fire a two piece here. <clears throat> this is this is a weird thing because like once you get this kill on number three, <clears throat> once you get the kill on number three here, two v one, like you should be holding hands trying to find this guy. <clears throat> and the fact that like, I mean, Yeez goes in. He gets killed for it, and then, you know, fire just chows from, from the back here. So this is, this is what looks weird. Like, they should, they should have to, like, teamwork this and, and trade this guy out. Unfortunately, Yeez doesn't get any bullets on him, so it's not like he's weak or anything. But, uh, this kind of just looks troll. And number eight just has to place, like, kind of spawners to try and cut off reinforcements, so he, he can't really help, too. But then, you know, these guys are just on a, on a pinch from their spawn. So you kind of have to work on a, like a timer here. And since you aren't able to break it like instantly, uh, they're just, they're just able to come with the reinforcements from their spawns. But again, more waves of spawns, more waves of pinches. So now Boston has another opportunity to break 35 seconds left. So this is still a decent break, you know, for a hill they probably like could have broken super early. 
going like the way of Houston Spartans. I'd say that as Pentagram wins a big fight for the last 30 seconds of the time. But and it's just, again, another break opportunity for the Spartans this time. So no one can really stabilize in this situation. It looks like Boston can stabilize here because once they get those kills, they know that they're spawning Coop side. All they really need to watch is Coop. I would really like someone to push out mid here. Yeah, like like Shawnee's doing. Get information mid to see if anyone's pushing there. Uh, but now it's actually just a rotation, so he's not even going that way. He's going to try and get, like, killer... Yeah, he's going to try and get kills towards this top AC area. Now we they spawn Coop. These guys are going to spawn, you know, towards Dino over here, towards the bus. And honestly, like... Let me see. Anytime, get in and do it. 44 to 73 here's the score. Like honestly, if they didn't start blocking these spawns, uh, I guess this this might be what they're trying to do on rotation. But in my opinion, like I don't know, these spawns over here kind of allow you to, you know, get into P4 a lot easier. So you blocking these spawns, they're already getting to P4, and now you're putting yourself in a position where, oh dude, I'm fucking faded, bro. I'm thinking of old P4. Dude, forgive me. I'm just. I'm so turned thinking that this is like a major VOD or something, but we're watching fucking a Challenger Cup with the new patch. All right, completely forget what I was saying. When we had the big changes to Hardpoint in this game, this change from Bottom Church. So they're trying to get Coop spawns because it's it's like really easy to break with like tax, and if you can get top third position, it's so hard for them to get on hill. So like the only ways that you can really kind of soak on times is if, if you get up behind this car or like behind this barrel and just make sure that like you have a trophy on you. So see if fire has a trophy on him. See if you can watch top third. Like maybe if Spark got onto like this barrel heady or, or had some type of eyes top third. You're like, yo, I'm t am I tweaking? Yeah, no, that's that was on me because I was I was doing all those major vods last week, so I'm thinking P4 is in the fountain, and I just I completely fucking blacked out. You can see the coaching from Mike Labeccio, Magic himself. It's like, look at this, white time, white time. Spark can't get on time. This is another good spot to try and get on time. But once again, if they have if they have like fountain or cash, and even like towards the street, they can still get shots on you. So it's it's super hard to just actually cap from it. That's a nice play by Spar. Oh, and he gets an assist on the last guy. The thing we hear with this is like P4 is such a scrappy hill where you might as well just like try and get white time if you have rotation at P5 and just just play for for P5. Honestly, that's what most of the teams I feel like are trying to do here. Where they these guys don't even give a fuck about this rest of the scrap time. Like P5 can be made into a money hill if you play it right. So they're just trying to do that. They're going to have one guy play this whole time, but honestly, like, yes, it's just because he's going to spawn with his team. Yeah, so he just spawns up with his team here. So let's see how uh, Houston's trying to break this from the front. Fire's keeping them honest, like, bottom bottom red. Prolu comes top red, so he has the help already. So they're early on this rotation, which is, which is really good. I'm surprised. Um... I don't know, I'm surprised they're not just like double working this. I guess they need to have someone watching mid. And that's the situation like, I don't know, number six is in a position where he's watching mid, but number seven's already here. So like, he, he can just help this guy on new. They're like so paranoid about mid, I guess. And I guess, I don't know. They're just trying to account for everything, which kind of sucks. But number six is still watching mid. While like number seven can pick that up up spawn. So I think... I think number six should be helping front here. Let's see if he can kind of salvage it. Nah, unfortunately he doesn't. So probably get the two piece there. So that's a big rotation two two piece. He gets a trade though, but you know the the initial position you already had on the hill was was pretty decent. Now you're in a position where you're you're spawning here. They already like in front of time can kind of stall any type of push that you guys might have onto this point because they're already in this position where like he's towards the barrels. He's what was the top bed and number four is on a pinch here they, they seem to know so if they don't pick up this pinch this could be really deadly it's practically a UAV up for them. oh dylan rex doesn't even get one he starts shooting how does he not get one here this should 100 be kills and like 
w once he starts getting kills and starts blocking this, they, you get these parallel spawns. And this could have been like really big for them. As they're up 96 to 59, this could have been the break to kind of like really solidify a lead in this game. So I don't know how he doesn't get this kill on number seven. He gets like turned on with number seven and number eight team working it. And now they still spawn up in the back. But like, let's, let's see, like that was just an extra gravy on the top for Houston. So like they can still be holding this from the front. Let's see how they can hold this. How do you feel about people pushing out bottom red slash old P5 on this new P5? Uh, it depends on the situation, but like it can work. Uh, if you have like one guy go top, two guys go bottom. Honestly, I think the most consistent way is probably hitting like through mid or around like on the rotation. That's probably your best way to break it. But um, if you're just trying to brute force it, it's it's still possible. It's just probably not ideal if I had to guess. I'm like 50-50 on it, but want to hear from a pro coach. Yeah. So breaking from red is not ideal, but I mean, it could still be done. I just, I just don't think it's the most ideal situation for a lot of teams. Like you see a lot of teams trying to break from going around. Right. It's, it's not a stroke of luck that they're here. They're great players. And Boston Breach able to bring it. So they, 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 just seem to they kill, they kill probably here. Right? Everything right. It's, it's not a stroke of luck that they're here. They're great. So players. yeah, uh, unfortunately they're just, they're just in a position to get trades better than these guys towards bottom red. What causes, causes parallel is long and half wall uh, LOS blo blocking coop. So we're talking about um, here. Like this is this is just if you're blocking like the back here, if you're blocking this P3 spawn because you can spawn like P3, uh, it'll just start like if you're contesting it, it'll just have these parallel spawns here. So you just got to be looking out for like if you get a long spawn, you got to be looking out for people behind you and shit or like fountain. Yeah, Boston Breach able to. Bring it back now with two it's just seeing this spawn as being contested or like a same with white time white time it could be the same thing but it, it's just reading the spawn as contested so it doesn't want to spawn you like close to the hill Take two down though with him. Sean or i guess you can spawn coop too yeah I, I mean this i think this is mostly white white time fucking spawns yeah, now, be, now being the master of the junkyard just holding it down keeping the time white fire is going to take him down on a three spree yep it's all like white time what when I say white time, it's obviously like if it's contested, no one's uh, capping it. But white time, like anything goes, like any, like straight up. Any, I feel like any spawns can happen. It's like a, it's like a random number generator straight up. So that's that's why it's big on uh, some of those like super big white time hills, like like a uh, like P4 invasion. White time, dude. Something's anything goes, bro. Like Pro Loop, who have been absolutely slaying out all day and. So this is rotation now to the P1 because now at like 15 seconds you're not going to be breaking this. Pro Loot's going to now just try and get top three control. So he's going to wrap around. Yeah, so he wraps around, tries to get number eight on a flank top three. This is a really good play, like if you have the timing to do it. Unfortunately, Cami just, Cami gets a two piece. He reads him going top here. So that's that's actually huge. Mentally resilient and how much quality they've got throughout their entire team. We've spoken about them a lot all day about how every single player on this team and that just goes to show how white time spawns might be the worst thing invented in hard points dude it's it's actually so bad because it's it's literally random and it's so hard in the moment to be thinking about it because it's just like you're not ex you're not expecting you know time to go white and if it just goes white during that spawn or when it's supposed to happen sometimes that's that can really fuck you over and it's just i don't know like someone just gets off hill for a second it could completely change something and it's it's just so hard to read. I got PTSD from Hotel P1 white time spawns last year. Yeah, dude, there are some there's some white time spawns where it's just like dude, just pick a pick a corner, pick a fucking wall on the map and we'll spawn you on it. resilient and how much quality they've got throughout their entire team. We've spoken about them a lot all day about how every single player on this team So, Cammy makes a play here and they have good positioning towards this P1, but these guys just break through mid cut. Or this guy breaks through AC actually. Cammy gets a third one, but this guy just goes right on top of AC and kills him on time. And now it just disrupts their setup because no one's on time. They have to kill this guy. They have to go back to kill this guy. Cammy's still going to try and play spawners. He dies to Spart though. So what should have been like a kind of clean rotation for Boston isn't so clean. But once they get this kill on, on P1, it'll be fine. Yeah, so 
they've kind of stabilized here. They know they're coming towards this mid cut or short. They're getting on time now. Actually, no one's watching this mid cut. Now they are. So actually, no one is watching the mid cut. I think number eight is actually number eight. Number eight from this bricks position is watching it. So yeah, he gets a uh, pentagram. Oh, oh, sorry. I'm, I'm assuming. I assume that this guy was top third. I thought number five was top third, but he's actually in this credit corner. So that's that's who was watching the the mid cut. So pentagram gets an easy two piss here. Dylan Rex takes a route, so he's gonna be the one going through Coop. This is a really, this is a good long route if you want to take it, and you're trying to break the hill. I'm surprised they don't pick up someone, or I'm surprised they don't pick him up here. But this is kind of hard to pick up. Oh, Cammy actually almost turns on him. But good kills by Houston. They kind of stabilize here. They should break onto this hill. They can kill Yees. There they are. Now these guys spawning useless. You can cut them off towards old if you're like playing in red here. So that's what they're gonna try and do. They're already sending people towards red side. Pentagram wins a big one on one top red. Let's see if Shawnee wins this one on pro loot. Huge one on one pro loot or Shawnee's already towards new. These guys spawn here. This guy spawns here. Look at these spawns, bros. So number seven and number eight spawn out. So that that's like, okay, you're assuming that this guy, like anyone that on their team will spawn here. But like once these kills go down, I'm assuming our team is going to be like spawn CT. If I'm like playing and I see those kills go down, I'm assuming we have this side. They're going to spawn P3. We'll be, we'll be good. But look at this. Number three spawns here. And then his teammate spawns fucking back Narnia parking lot. Damn. Like, this is some of the stuff that, like, you're trying to play in game. And there is just, I mean, there is just no way for you to, like, read this. This is very, very hard to read in the moment. It's because of number eight. Yeah. It's, it's because of number eight. I'm just saying it's hard as fuck to read it if you're not like on top of it. It is readable. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just saying it's it's very hard in the moment to read it. But technically, yo, know, we're looking at a mini map. If we were in Kaicaster, we could tell you that like it's something something could, like could happen. It's just like if you're playing in the moment, you don't have mini map like that. It's very, very hard. Even for pro players, it's, it'll be hard. The help is there in the form of Spart though, and Houston Spartans, they're going to take a 27 point lead over into Now Houston has that, that rotation because what, what happens here is they spawn close. Number two has a pinch on in. Yep. Number two wins a gunfight on Pentagram. So Pentagram isn't expecting this guy to be ticket. He's trying to look towards like a top single or a top double, I mean, like top fire. And then number two and number three can just teamwork this guy, last guy alive at new. They get this kill. That's a huge kill. Now they're like on scrap time. They know they're spawning towards the bat because of number one, number one spawn. And they can just play for people trying to jump up back alley. Or like off old. Let's see if, break, let's see if Boston can break this because they have some good positioning here. Number four is kind of out of the play right now. It's just like, can you teamwork number one and can you get number two off time? Let's see if they can do it. So they get trades on number one. They got to be quick now. Number four is on like their tail. Number eight or number seven dies. Number three, he tries tr jumping up the top wall. Unfortunately, because like he's expecting the guy back alley to have given it up because, you know, they had already got to kill bus. So he's assuming like he's going to kind of try, try and change his position now. But unfortunately, number three keeps holding it. So he doesn't get the kill there. They're on time now. So let's see if who's it. Shawnee can kill fire here. That is very true. The small Shawnee's just contesting. He's literally just contesting from the front door. Uh, unfortunately, they don't get any kills on time. They get a trade here towards Ticket on number four who is spawning up. Uh, but they're still soaking time. Like, this is a really, really bad situation for Boston. They kind of just have to rotate. Like, they could go play through old, but they're risking themselves getting full-on chained here. This is a really weird, awkward situation. It's like number five off spawn has to rotate. Like he has to just trust this guys, these guys to win a three v four, a three on three, probably a three on three. 
or we, it would be a three on three because number four is gonna start rotating too. But you know, number seven, it looks like number seven is just gonna opt to help the rotation. So that's what they do. They kind of like split off. I'm so, uh, somehow Cami wins a one on one on, on old without a trade. Oh no, he doesn't get traded by fire. But you know, they opt for the rotation because they they just realize in the moment like they can't screw themselves over for for dying P two. So what they're gonna try and do here is is just find this last guy. Let's see if they know that one guy's left alive. They should if they're counting names. They know they've killed two guys, Spartan Pro Loot. They know one guy is on old time. So they know they're missing Dylan Rex. Or they know they're missing at least one guy. So they technically don't know if Dylan Rex is on time. Actually, they should. They should know that Dylan Rex is the one because Fire got this trade on uh, on Cami. So they should know Dylan Rex last alive probably somewhere in the back hiding here. And they know they know that he's in the back here because of number seven spawn. If he was in the back, number seven spawns with them useless. And that's why these parallels happen. So this, this spawn is like being contested over here. So that's why these parallels over here are happening. For this next P3. It's been, it's been so they, they need to kill Dylan Rex. So if Dylan Rex gets... That's a big kill. So like number six probably should have been helping him out, I would assume. And let's see if... Let's see what happens here. And Dylan Rex gets two. So that's... That's like a game-winning two-piece. No, I'm not gonna lie. Like, now he's gotten reinforcements now from people who'd who'd spawned out parallel. Number eight's trying to get a kill towards red. He sees a guy red, so what he's trying to do is just keep progression towards the useless side. But again, the rest of his team is just nowhere to be found because they had died trying to kill this guy down Rex, singled out like by like sing, trying to single him out. And now it's what should have been a rotation win. Like, think about it this way: we went into this rotation. To this rotation, and that that's the difference. Like that's a that's literally game game changing. So they're trying to at least salvage this. Number eight is staying alive, but you know they're on time. What is going on? Some something's lagging here. Someone was super lagging. What the fuck is this? All right, so the whole server is tweaking or some shit. I don't know. So, something was getting screwed up over there, but whatever. So Yeez, Yeez dies to Fire who had spawned out. Fire is now on a pinch for useless. They know that this guy is towards the square over here. They're starting to lag or some shit. They're trying to break through middle. They kill this guy who was in the back, Cami. So now they know everyone is in front of them. They don't have to worry about anyone in the back. They can just hold this pretty easily. Pro loot helps uh, mid because fire is taking a chow with two people on him. So pro loot gets the help there. They know they're spawning towards coop side, or actually they don't technically know that they're spawning coop side, as you'll see here. Like they get these kills and then they're assuming they're spawning coop side, but they're just making sure you know Spar's gonna go towards this useless look there just in case they got some type of weird splits or something. This guy gets a weird timing top three somehow. You know, finds Dylan Rex, kills him, but they now they're, know they're spawning Coop. Number three can now help. He's going to go on top of this dumpster, or like on this dumpster, look towards that heady. Uh, it's still, you know, 20 seconds, and they're up 100 points. So this is really dangerous. They're trying to funnel through Coop if they can get eyes on mid. Like, assuming these guys, assuming these two guys are watching, like, Coop side, number one should be watching mid. So this guy shouldn't die from mid, or at least he's hiding himself from mid, so... Regardless, if he's hiding himself from mid, that's just, just as fine. But now they see this guy mid. They can now teamwork him. They're getting all these kills here. And now they can go on rotation. Number four is already, like, out. So they're going to have to worry about him. Plus, the, or they're already pushing, like, through coop side. So they're getting a little bit of deeper spawn towards towards uh, towards bridge. Did I miss a teabag? Oh, I was zoned in. I'm sorry. That's actually really funny if, if they were teabagging. Aren't split spawns better for teams to break hills because you get a Frank for, for flee? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, like, they got that split spawn here. So, there was one guy, like, back towards that P2, like, on the rotation of the P2. They already had a guy towards Ticket, and they had the guy uh, spawn up CT. So, they just converged on Shawnee, who was last alive, towards the back alley here. So, like, Boston themselves weren't... If, like, if I'm not in a position to read that, 
I'm just expecting that they're going to be coming from this side. I'm not expecting this guy to spawn here and have a convergement on like on you back alley, like two guys. Do you play much off stream or do you just learn everything from watching the boys play? Uh, probably mostly just the, watching the boys play. I don't really, I don't play too much, honestly. But Houston's Houston's playing this really well. You could say that tier list, uh, so once again, P4 white time. If there was one rotation that you didn't really need to have to win because of how hard it is to hold, it is this one. And unfortunately, that is the one uh, that Boston is technically quote unquote winning. So that's why this P3 is like a big money hill, but also like not that bad if you have scrap time because if you're holding this hill and you're trying to break this hill, it's not that hard to break because it is very hard to hold. So like having that chain of events of holding P3, trying to break P4, even if you don't break P4, or just, you, at least you make it mixy by giving some white time, just not letting them get on the hill. And then you have that rotation for P5, you keep these spawns over here. That's like probably the most quote unquote ideal setup that the teams are going for because it's the best like chain of events for those last three hills. So they, they have a streak, they just dive the streak on in, they're up 120 points, like, you might as well use it, if you have the rotation of the P5 especially, and they're just getting the kills to break on in, so they just get a 4 down, complete wipe, these guys are going to spawn up either you know back towards here or towards the diner, they're actually just all spawning CT. And they're just holding this from the front. You usually don't even see this. This is like if you're really like being able to like to like completely dominate the game. You get those kills. You hold from the side. You have top third. You have someone playing around this castle area, like playing spawners. Have someone fountain. You may be watching like your short pinch and you're just like soaking time. Like he like number two is being super annoying here because he's just not letting them even get towards time at all like he's stunning their push before they even get towards the ladder and now like they just have help number three and number four louis just team working this back you know truck area and, moving on the map. and this is just they, i mean they should just win right here or this guy gets a kill on on time because he had pinched through short but you know this game is basically over they just need to get a trade on cami still white time for a second okay the, the second doesn't trigger boston gets this uh, this kill, but it, it's all meant for nothing because they're just going to get to new earlier and uh, and win the rotation. And that's it. It was a good, uh, good map one.